question. How long do you think it will take to drill through the surface of Europa, assuming we get a man-made object on its surface, and do you think there could be any kind of complex life living under the ice? Excellent question. In fact, Europa, if you didn't otherwise know, is one of the moons of Jupiter, mm -hmm. and Jupiter is way far out of the Goldilocks zone that we talk about, yeah. where you're not too close to the sun, otherwise if you had water it would evaporate. Not too far away, otherwise if you had water it would freeze, and life as we know it thrives on liquid water. Earth is in the habitable zone, the Goldilocks zone of the sun. Jupiter is not, mm -hmm. yet Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, which is icy on its surface, is kept warm by the gravitational stress that Jupiter brings to bear on it. And it squeezes the, plant, the, the orb in ways that if you hit a racquetball, you never, or, or if you play any of the racket sports, they say, let's yeah. warm up the ball before we play. You hit the ball, the ball recoils back into shape. You hit it again. Every time you hit it, you're pumping energy into the ball. And the ball physically, literally gets warmer. Jupiter is trying to stress the physical shape of Europa as it orbits the planet. And it's in a tug of war between the gravity of Jupiter and the gravity of other moons around Jupiter. And so the shape of Europa is changing ever so slightly, but it's doing that constantly. And it is pumping energy into Europa. What would otherwise be a frozen body in the outer solar system has, is liquid water deep beneath a frozen surface. How, how deep is the surface? We think it's about a kilometer thick, a little, oh. little more than a half a mile. And so that's thick. And that's so... The, so that the, is very drillable. Like, I mean, I could drill that if I had a <laughs> one kilometer long drill and a lot of time. So she, and she, space suit. she wants to know how long would it take a human to do this? A human would probably not be the first attempt to get through that ice. Right. You, uh, you send, send a bunch of cats <laughs> that you would teach how to dig. So you'd send something that could possibly melt a hole through it. You could send, for example, a radioactive ball that has its own heat source, mm -hmm. and you, you, it's on a tether, and the, the ball drops through the ice as it melts down, brings the tether with it, and then it opens up a little camera lens when it gets down to the bottom. So that would be fun. And what are the chances of finding life there? I, I'm... I'm I'm a life fan uh, for Europa because it's been liquid water for billions of years. Right. In any place on Earth, we find liquid water, we find life, even the Dead Sea. That's just a statement of... Is there is there life in the Dead Sea? They just didn't have a microscope. It's oh, a statement okay. of the kind of life they knew anything about. Yes, right. there's none of that. So there's no fish and no kids. There's, there's no fish and kids. The two most common forms of life are fish and children. <laughs> but there's microbes. Yeah, so... And yes. a lot of skin softening agents. A any, minerals. <laughs> apparently. So any place we found liquid water, we found life. So if water has this sort of magic property that it stimulates the formation of life in the presence of the right other ingredients, Europa is surely a candidate for this. And it opens up our concept of where to look for life in the galaxy. Because this is outside of the Goldilocks zone, with a source of energy not dependent on the sun itself. So it's its own Goldilocks zone based on stress. Yeah, it's its own little Goldilocks zone. How it's, hard would it be to get there to send uh, some sort of radioactive ball on a spaceship there? Uh, we've, we've been there already, and oh. we've already had landers. So on... all we had to do is add a radioactive ball to it? Well, and you have to design it to, to do it right and to know. And by the way, wait, wait, if you're wondering if there's life there, that ice actually cracks and the water seeps up through the ice and refreezes. So it's been suggested that there might be sort of freeze-dried fish mm -hmm. in the, near the surface in the cracks between the ice sheets. If we brought that back and ate it, would we die right away or in a week? We would. Be, you could probably sell it for like a gazillion dollars. Eat Europa food, and what would you call life on Europa? Yeah, you'd call it Europeans. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would. Yeah. And then <laughs> the people in Europe would be furious. <laughs> um, all right.